Are you ready to test your pharmacology knowledge? These five NCLEX style questions will challenge your drug safety, side effect recognition, and nursing judgment. Let's see how many you get right. Stick around for rationales after each one. A client with heart failure is prescribed digoxin. Which of the following signs would require the nurse to hold the medication? A. Heart rate of 58 BPM. B. Blood pressure of 110 tor 70 eminars mage J. C. Potassium level of 4.2 meq L. D. Mild nausea after meals. Answer. A. Heart rate of 58 BPM digoxin slows the heart rate. It should be held if the apical pulse is less than 60 BPM to prevent bradycardia and toxicity. Which of the following are potential side effects of opioid analgesics like morphine? Select all that apply. A. Constipation. B. Respiratory depression. C. Hypertension. D. Sedation. E. Urinary retention. Answers. A, B, D, E opioids commonly cause constipation, sedation, respiratory depression, and urinary retention. Hypertension is not typical. Hypotension is more common. Place the following steps in order when administering insulin to a client who is prescribed both regular, short-acting, and NPH, intermediate-acting insulin. 1. Inject air into NPH. 2. Inject air into regular insulin. 3. Withdraw regular insulin. 4. Withdraw NPH insulin. Correct order. 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear before cloudy. Inject air into both vials, but draw regular, clear insulin before NPH, cloudy, to prevent cross-contamination. A client is prescribed warfarin. Which of the following lab results indicates the therapeutic effect of this medication? A. INR of 1.0 B. INR of 2.5 C. APTT of 25 seconds D. Platelets of 150,000 menlamuanin 3 Answer, B, INR of 2.5. The therapeutic INR range for clients on warfarin is typically 2.0, 3.0. An INR of 1.0 is normal for someone not on anticoagulants. The nurse is preparing to administer furosemide, Lasix, to a client. Which assessment is most important to perform before giving the medication? A, bowel sounds. B, blood glucose level. C, lung sounds. D, Serum potassium level. Answer. D. Serum potassium level. Furosemide is a potassium-wasting diuretic. Low potassium can lead to dangerous cardiac arrhythmias. How many did you get right? Comment below and let us know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for more NCLEX practice with real test-style breakdowns. You're not just memorizing, you're learning to think like a nurse. Stay confident, stay faithful, and keep practicing with Next Nurse NCLEX.